How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and today we are at a truck show down in Athens, Tennessee. I already got the whole crew here. We're about to start walking around looking at some trucks. Kevin, how you liking it so far? Pretty good. Alright, so, so yeah, we're just going to start walking around looking at trucks. Okay guys, the day after the truck event, awesome truck event. I'm looking forward to the next one they host and stuff like that. Tennessee exclusives, Nasty Truck Mafia hosts an awesome event. Can't wait for the next one. So yeah. All right guys, today is currently Sunday. I am washing the truck. It's the week after that truck event. So this vlog is gonna come out like a week and a half, a week or so. Yesterday I secretly test drove some trucks. Um, the reason why I'm not filming, filming that is because A, I wanna be on based on my opinion what i want and i'm not gonna say that i don't want your all's opinion because i do but at the end of the day i'm spending the money so i want to base be based on what i want but anyways um so right now we're gonna get the truck washed um then we're gonna go i'm gonna show you all some trucks i'm highly interested in and see what your all's opinion is on them here in a little bit after i wash and clean out the truck because the track bar needs to be cleaned desperately but uh yeah let's get this truck clean and make it look a whole lot better because it is freaking nasty right now oh it's terrible all right guys as you can see the truck is 100 percent clean got all the grime and grit off of it from the past two weeks and this looks so much better got the track bars all shined up they look great like i say guys i'm at fox toyota if you ever want a new newer used toyota or a newer used truck they got a hell of a selection Please come down here, guys. Tell them that Trucks and Water sent you. They are fantastic. They are very laid back, great salesmen. They don't bother you, pester you. Trust me, I know. I've been to a ton of dealerships, and they're one of only two dealerships I love dealing with that and another Chevy dealership. But anyways, awesome, awesome people. Make sure you come check that out. But what I'm going to go over today, guys, is I have been test driving some trucks privately off camera because I, want, I don't want to be influenced. But I'm going to start at the Fox Toyota dealership because I have been looking at a Tundra. But I'm going to tell you why I probably won't go with a Tundra though and we'll explain here in a second. The one I'm looking at is a TRD Pro Black. I freaking love this truck. I love the setup. Love the way that it looks. Got the Fox shocks all the way around. The awesome wheels. The blacked out, murdered out grill, whatever you want to call it. It looks phenomenal with already the rigid fog lights in it. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, the Platinums are good too, but I just love the way these trucks, they, I just love the way these trucks sit. They sit a, lot, a little bit taller too. Here is my issue with these trucks. They come in, this one's at $51,000. Okay, a little, little bit lower end of the spectrum, but for $51,000, you would think they would be equipped with heated cooled seats and remote start, and they're not. I have driven this truck before and the TRD exhaust is loud as hell. Freaking sounds awesome. But why does it not come with that Toyota? What is the deal? Like if you're, I'm paying $51,000 for a truck, I want remote start and I want heating cooled seats. Also, I will not, ha I wouldn't really be able to keep my K1500 because this truck can only tow about 9,400 pounds. And that would be literally 400 pounds shy of that truck on a trailer. And I know they're, they're, I know they can tow a lot more. I've seen people tow a lot more of these trucks, no problem. But I don't like pushing tr pa trucks past what the recommended 
toe rating. There's a reason why they're only recommended for this amount of weight. But if I had to pay, if I if I got for some reason got rid of Ashley and had to pick one gas truck, it would definitely this would be a very very high contender. I love these trucks. The back seat is absolutely massive. Front seat is very comfortable and everything. And they are the hardest truck to lift and put bigger wheels and tires on because you have to do the body mount chop and whatnot. But these trucks are just, oh my God. I love, even though they get bad fuel, worse fuel economy than most of the American trucks like Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. But if you buy a truck for fuel economy, you shouldn't really be buying a truck. This is my opinion. So, that's one of the trucks I was looking at, but it's kind of crossed off the list because it's just, it just ain't gonna work out the way it, there's too many there's too many crucial flaws for me to get one unfortunately unless they come out with one that can tow 12,000 pounds i mean that's that's basically what i want is about 11 to 12,000 pound tow rating so we're going to move on now to the ford dealership and i'll show you the f-150 i've been kind of looking at like it's one similar if they have one all right guys we are currently at my local ford dealership and there's a couple of F-150s I want to show you all. Start out with a Limited. Like, you're probably thinking, holy crap, Josh, why in God's green earth would you get a Limited for $75,000 if you could just go out and buy yourself a diesel for that much? Well, I'm not buying new, guys. I'm buying used. Buying new unless you can pay a massive down payment, pay out in cash, or you're going to keep the truck for like 5 to 10 years. There's no point in buying new. So I'm just kind of showing you what I mean. Is like I can see this one retailed at seventy-four thousand two hundred eighty dollars for tax tile outdoors. You're probably pushing about almost eighty grand for this truck. I can get one of these that is sixteen, seventeen, even eighteen with under fifty thousand miles on it. For in some cases, under forty grand. Tows twelve thousand pounds. Has the big EcoBoost three point five liter, which they are very tunable guys the torque curve on those things are insane like they're like a mini diesel pretty much and they freaking are awesome now i'm not very fond with the interior colors on these limiteds i wish they just went all black interior but they don't i think I can get by by that but they're the, the most comfortable seat i've ever sat in besides my seat in my k1500 so being more reasonable here's an xlt for 55 which is really that much more reasonable it's got cloth though center console heated seats not cool which i really want cool seats guys god i love cool seats um but you know something like this that can tow 11 12 000 pounds and be perfectly okay so we got the white one we got the black one got the stx which is the more baseline not at all remote in the king ranch don't really really care for that package but my favorite color they have in the limiteds, which I love to death, is this ruby red color. I absolutely adore this color. This color just looks absolutely phenomenal on these trucks. This one retails for seventy-four thousand. God, I love that color. But that is what I'm looking at Ford-wise. Is one of these trucks if that makes any sense to you all? course and use i'm not buying brand new it'd be stupid to buy one of these brand new and they drop so much in value see this one limited for 74 so i guess the other one's top of the line model not even remotely interested in a ranger they're kind of eh, well, like colorado to me they just copy colorado pretty much but yeah that's what i'm kind of looking at guys i mean they i wish though i could get the stx grill i love that grill in a limited because that grill uh you probably swap them out very easily, but I love that grill in a limited, in a limited body. That'd be freaking awesome. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. So that's what I'm looking at Ford wise. Now we're gonna go look at a little Chevy dealership, and I'll show you what I'm looking at over there. All right, guys. Now we're at a Chevy deal, my local Chevy dealership. So bear with me with the lighting. I'm sorry, it's starting to get dark out earlier. It sucks, but I have test drove one of the new. 2019 2020 chevy silverado 1500s not a huge fan on the interior still there's just not i'm just not a huge fan on it. it's like a downgrade from what they were in the 18s which i am looking at an 18 a very specific 18 i am looking at an 18 but the package i'm very very interested in is like 
this package right here. I believe this is one called the RST package. It's an in-between package. Make sure, yeah, RST. It's an in-between package from an LT and an LTZ. So you get a center console with it, but cloth seats and they're heated, they're just not cooled. The only issue with this is, because I've driven a 5.3, and to be honest with you guys, I am not very thrilled about these 5.3s. Um, from the factory, they're dogs, they're slow, they don't want to rev up, they don't want to get up and run. They just don't, I don't like the way the 5.3s run. Whereas I have driven, I believe this high country will have it. I have driven an LTZ 6.2, no this is a 5.3. How you can tell these are uh, uh, six twos? They'll have a six two badge on them, and they'll say a uh, six two on the windshield, or a six two on the sticker. I think this might be one right here. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I find maybe one more. If I can't find one, we'll pretend like there is one. LTZ. Is it a 6.2? I would just say this is a 6.2, okay? So I have driven LTZ 6.2 and they are freaking monsters. They will get up and run with the daggum best of them, let me tell you. And I really like that because they can tow, like the Ford's about 12 to 13,000 pounds depending on the max towing. The max, I think the Ford outbeats it by right now the 19th by a little bit, but the 2020, I know they can tow like 13 plus. With a max towing, max trailer package with a 6.2 which will be plenty enough for this truck and a trailer so that's what i'm looking at the body has been growing on me i like the body i'm envisioning it leveled with with 22 by 12s on it look really 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 freaking good on this truck so that's what i've been envisioning and it'd either be like red the silver or that black as well low or that ruby that ruby red right here but this thing isn't just an lt you know it's an ltz ltz i'm just i don't like chrome and that's what i love about the rst package is it's it's um it's all color match i don't like chrome especially on the chevy i just don't like chrome at all that's why as you can see my truck's got black or the color match starting and i'm also getting rid of the chrome trimming all that this after this winter and when it goes to paint and body but that's what i'm looking at guys please put your comments down below on what you think i should get if i still should be looking at a diesel because i am still looking at diesels even though like tabby popping up to me explaining why i'm looking at more gas now for the epa video i'm still looking at diesel so if you tell me like maybe a hold off and get diesel your opinion does matter i do want to make myself happy i do want to pick what i want but your opinion also matters for the channel so I hope you all enjoy this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, and trying new and better things. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.